Hey, hello, this is Jim, and um, we're going to install a compliance operator today. I'm going to first install the um, advanced cluster management for Kubernetes. So what I'm going to do here is go to the operator hub, and this is a fresh, hub, uh, fresh cluster. And I'm going to do multi-cluster management, so let's go for advanced cluster management. And there it is from Red Hat. The full name is Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes. I'm going to go ahead and uh, accept the defaults here. It goes into Open Cluster Management and uh, it's automatically updated the way I've selected things. I'll fast forward until we're done here. All right, I've got Advanced Cluster Management for Kubernetes installed here. And uh, now I'm going to use that to install the compliance operator. So if I want to look at what this looks like, Now I'm going to install a multi-cluster hub. That will make this cluster into a, a management hub for all my other clusters within OpenShift Kubernetes. I just take the defaults, create that. If I take a look at this, it'll take a few minutes for the resources to be installed. It's still installing. And now um, my cluster is renamed local cluster. And if I want to manage at the multi-cluster level, I'll click on all clusters. Now what uh, my objective is here is to install the compliance operator because I have a governance uh, policy I can, policies I can set up. So this is a policy to install the operator which enforces security policies. So there's two levels of policies here. First thing I'll do is uh, create a policy for the installation of the operator. And um, looks like um, this is going to be it. And I'll call this compliance operator. Now we want to select a namespace. And I don't see one I want to use. So I'm going to go ahead and, and create one within the interface here. So I'm going to go to the, the
this is a policy on the hub cluster. So you know, this is the hub cluster. I'm going to go ahead and create a new project or a namespace. And I'll do that by click up here on create a project. I'll call it compliance operator. Okay. Now back to work here. And governments go back into creating this policy. And then I want to call this compliance author. Hit next. Now the policy template here, I can, uh, I will specify the template of how this is to be installed, but I have the ability to just inform me if it's violating the template, enforcing, or remediating. I'm going to uh, use enforce. I won't necessarily use enforce within the compliance operator, but I want to enforce the presence and setup of the compliance operator. Now the template is install the compliance operator right here. Uh, then within the template, we're going to set up how the compliance operator should be configured. And I'm going to tell it uh, here that I want to prune anything, anything it, it creates that wasn't there before, should I want to remove the operator. So here's the uh, compliance operator namespace. Although I've manually created that, here is the uh, compliance operator group. And that's going to be named comp operator operator group. I'll delete that when this is clear, uh, removed. Uh, remediation is to inform on this policy. Operator subscription. Delete that completed. Configuration policy delete if created. That's it next. Now placement, uh, here's where I want to put a tag for which clusters should be installed on. Now I have one cluster and that's my hub cluster on which we're running. So um, easiest bet in terms of this logic, this tagging logic here, or labeling logic is, yeah, cluster ID presents me with a drop down of the clusters of which there is only one. And now I can hit next. Uh, here's where we uh, tell it the policy annotations. And we're talking this to 800 3 here. That looks good. And we submit. Now, if I go back to the governance front page, I would expect I to have a policy here. I don't yet. Oh, there it is. It came in just as I was about to click away. Here's, here's the policies. Now, this has a violation, and that violation is going to be that the compliance operator is installed. So let's give it a little time to install and see if that clears up. Okay, that cleared up, so the com compliance operator is installed. I can look at my policies here. Yes, it's enabled and enforced that it is installed. And that completes the uh, installation of the compliance operator.